Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to cut this cut right to the point here. I've got some bad news. Um, as you are perfectly aware, if you've been watching the Oblivion Let's Play, I've been suffering from loads and loads of bugs and crashes, which have gotten more and more frequent as the Let's Play has moved on, um, especially during this the, the second volume um, with the Lost Spire quests and stuff like that. Um, unfortunately, uh, we've reached a point uh, in which the game has pretty much become unplayable. I sat down uh, earlier this week to start recording some more Oblivion and discovered that I could not travel past the eastern half of the Imperial City um, without the game repeatedly crashing on me every time I tried to get through to that area of the world. Um, I also discovered that my quick saves wouldn't work if I quick saved. Um, trying to load it again would also crash the game. Um, now, there's no easy to really, e there's no easy way to figure out what causes these crashes. I did my best, and uh, I did what I kept saying I was going to do and make a brand new installation um, and transfer the save games over to that. In fact, in the end, I actually made about four new, brand new installations repeatedly um, in the F in my efforts to try and fix this. Unfortunately, I have discovered that. It, the Idris saves from the Let's Play will not transfer to a new uh, installation. I didn't know why this was for quite some time until eventually I figured out it was probably because I'm not actually able to replicate the old installation anymore. Um, when I set up that install on another computer, I might add, it actually at one point had to be co copied over from one computer to another, which didn't do it any good either. Um, back when I originally built that installation with all its mods and stuff like that, that was quite some time ago now. Um, a couple of years, possibly, uh, at most, I, I think. And it was actually made with versions of the different mods in it, like Better Cities and Oscuro's Overhaul and Mart's Monster Mod and stuff. It was made using versions of those mods, which are actually no longer available to download anywhere. Which means that I can't actually make a sort of facsimile of the old installation with a new copy of Oblivion. It's pretty much impossible. I tried using the earliest versions of those mods that I could find on the internet, but it still wouldn't work. Every time you tried to load one of the Idris saves, it would instantly crash to desktop. Um, every single time, with all of the saves going all the way back to before the, the very start of Volume 2. Before Volume 2, you could load saves, but for some reason every single... and this is this is why I kind of figured it out, it's because it's because of Skura's overhaul or something. If you loaded it up, um, everything would be covered in exclamation marks and missing meshes and things like that because the game was, as far as it was concerned, half the things in the game didn't exist. Um, Idris himself was actually a big walking clump of exclamation marks because all of the meshes and things for his gear were missing. Um, you know, like his white robes and that sort of thing. So, yeah. Basically, and unfortunately, and this, I'm really gutted about this, I have to admit, I've been keeping people updated about it on Twitter, and um, I actually sat, sat up until about 5 o'clock in the morning, um, desperately trying to fix this and figure it out, but um, t to no avail in the end. Unfortunately, um, the Idris Oblivion Let's Play is going to have to come to an abrupt end, because I cannot progress any further with it, my installation is just what for whatever reason it's broken um, and there is an entire sector of the world space um, which I cannot go into without crashing the game and um, unfortunately that's a, an area of the world I actually have to go to in order to do the next Lost Spire quest as well so um, in addition to the fact that this, the quick saves are just completely broken for some reason um, I have after quite some time now, after about two days worth of attempting to fix this and sort it out, have pretty much just decided that even if I could somehow decide, right, uh, well fine, we'll just not do the Lost Spire quests, or we'll go back to a much earlier save or something, I don't, it's just not worth the effort anymore. Um, there's no point. That, that save game is going to be broken and it's going to break even more given the chance. And I know, I know this is going to be um, uh, difficult for some people to accept, and and people are going to be a bit sad because yeah, and and I know how you feel. You know this this let's play has been going almost as long as my channel has, and um, I'm really sad to sort of let it go because I really enjoyed it and I had sort of big plans for where I wanted to go with it. Um, 
you know, do future quests I wanted to do with that character and that sort of thing. But um, unfortunately, there's just no way around it. Oblivion is a very old game, um, and it's not it's not a terribly stable one either. Uh, it's one of the least stable, I think, games that Bethesda have made, frankly. That doesn't react well to being modded. Um, when I first set it up, I didn't know much about modding compared to how the, compared to what I do now, anyway. And I set it up in a very dodgy way anyway. Half the mods I tried to install with it were using the wrong type of mod manager. There were lots of conflicts, lots of crashes from the get-go. Um, I just It just wasn't very good. Um, you know, the things like I, I couldn't even get basic simple mods to work like Darn UI and stuff like that, so I suffered with the vanilla user interface for god knows how many episodes. So, yeah. Um, it's tough. I'm afraid it's really, really, really sucks. But um, you know, I, I, the thing is, when you start an Elder Scrolls Let's Play or a Fallout Let's Play, for that matter, you have to accept the possibility that something like this will happen down the line. And unfortunately, it's a bit of a lottery, really. Uh, it certainly wasn't helped by the fact that I was constantly mucking around with the mods I had on it and adding stuff halfway through the Let's Play, which was really, really stupid of me. Um, in hindsight. It's not like Skyrim or New Vegas, which are both game, both the games which are far more suited to you being able to change your mods and stuff like that halfway through playing, and even then, it still causes problems. Um, you know, and uh, I, I just I think I made those mistakes, and in the end, it killed the installation in the long run. Um, it just broke it for for whatever reason. I still don't really know what the cause of it was, but um, I couldn't get it to I couldn't get it to work. I couldn't fix it. Um, so yeah, unfortunately that's just the way of things. Um, this this happens. It does. Uh, it happened to Thedas with the Mor Oblivion Let's Play right back at the beginning, um, and it happened with it's happened with other Let's Players. I know for a fact that with 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 Gopher this has happened twice. I think he had to end his Fallout Three Let's Play early, um, and he had to end his first Skyrim one with Steve. Um, because he had a very similar problem. There was an entire area of the world map he couldn't go into without the game crashing. So this is by far a... Um, it's definitely not a unique phenomena. I'll put it that way. Um, so yeah. Um, I'm going to miss Idris. I think most of you watching probably will as well. Uh, he's my first proper sort of role-played Let's Play character. Um, and he was a cool dude. And... Uh, it's a shame that it's come to this, really, but, um, yeah, unfortunately, there's nothing I can do. So, yeah, uh, I'm gonna have to bid, bid him a fond farewell, I think. Um, he'll go on doing his strange, wizardly, archaeologist ways. Um, but, unfortunately, none of us will be there to see it. So, um, can't be helped at the end of the day. Um... I have had um, some sort of people say to me like, uh, w w "Would it be, would you want to make a a mod for Idris or something like that, like uh, like a companion mod for Skyrim or something?" Um, I don't actually have the um, the modding expertise by at all, you know, even remotely to make something like that. Um, however, I I have I've, I have given an open invitation and said to anyone on, on I said on Twitter to anyone who wants to make a mod like that. Um, I would be more than happy to help with it, um, voice act it if necessary, that sort of thing. Um, I, that's that would be a totally awesome, cool thing and a fitting tribute to the to the guy. Um, since we weren't able to finish his story, but um, yeah. However, I have decided because I really do like Oblivion. I like it a hell of a lot, and I've I've only grown to like that that game more over the course of this very long let's play. Um. I have decided that um, I'm not going to let this get me too down, and what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to—I'm actually in the process of building a brand new Oblivion install right now, um, with a whole new fresh set of mods. Uh, it's a huge improvement over the over, over the old install. Some really really cool Oblivion mods have come out between you know since since I began the Oblivion Let's Play originally. Um, I've been mod testing and that sort of thing. And I think what I've decided to do is I'm going to start another Oblivion Let's Play, ultimately, because I really want to play Oblivion, I want to Let's Play it. Um, it's one of my favourite games to Let's Play, um, and I don't see why that should stop just because that save game is, is dead, honestly. So yeah, 
um, as I've already announced on Twitter, I'm going to be starting a new one um, with a new character, brand new character, um, whose details I'm still ironing out right now, but um, and I won't spoil anything about it until I eventually get around to it. Um, I, I don't know how, how when exactly this is going to happen. Um, I'm thinking fairly bloody soon, though, because um, I'm, I'm kind of itching to go and... Uh, because, because really, the best way to get past something mon a monumental fuck up like this is to just sort of start something new and um, get stuck into that, you know. Really, so I will, uh, in some point in the very near future, be starting a Let's Play Oblivion again series. Um, like I said, with a new character, the, the details of which I will not spoil for you for now, but. Um, with a new installation, with a new set of mods, um, and um, you know, this time pro done properly, with um, you know the proper mod managers and bashed patches and things like that, all the stuff I couldn't be bothered to do the first way, right time around, and it's, it came back to bite me in the ass. So, yeah, um, but yeah, that's that's all basically. Um, I'll be back with more Oblivion soon. It'll just be someone else's story rather than Idris's, sad to say, but, you know, perhaps it'll be for the best. We'll see. Um, is there anything else I have to add, really? No, I think that's it, basically. So, I'm really sorry. Um, honestly, honestly, I am. I'm pretty, particularly gutted because I, I really, really wanted to sit down this week and play a bunch of Oblivion. And, um, yeah, this, this came in you know, bit me in the ass. So, yeah, pretty annoyed, pretty sad. What can you do? Sometimes the modding gods just take a dump on you. Um, and, you know, I mean, yeah, usually when it happens, you're not actually doing a bloody Let's Play on YouTube for it. Um, usually you're lucky and it just happens to you when you're in your own personal game you're playing offline, but no, unfortunately in this case it, it buggered up at the Let's Play. And... Like I said, I knew that could happen from the very start. Unfortunately, I hoped it, I hoped it wouldn't happen, but unfortunately, it has. So, a cautionary tale, if nothing else, for those of you hoping to mod your games, make you make sure you do it properly. Otherwise, this happens. So, yeah, um, that's it. So, I'll see you again soon, guys. Like I said, with a new let's play. Um, and for now, peace. Have fun playing whatever you're playing. I'll see you soon.